low, 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 low. This is just a quick video because while I was on the alts, I'm like, there is a new event available. So I thought I would go over it first impressions type of style and then maybe learn something that we could bring up. A lot of mobilization, we could go to the rules. Essentially, there could be at least 30, but up to 100 people. You have to have City Hall 16. Um, you can only be in one alliance or you can only do this event for one alliance and uh, your alliance leaders could sign you up for it. Got it. So the system will randomly group alliances in the same league for the event. Um, during the competition, your alliance participating members can accept quests for the alliance. Um, okay, so you could accept quests. Your alliance can have up to 30 quests at a time. Each participant can only accept one quest at a time. And each participant will have up to 10 free quest attempts and can purchase one more with gems. Got it. Okay. So each, um, I guess each person can then do 11 quests. It would be better to have more participants so that you could have more amount of quests you could do. That's pretty interesting. When your alliance total points reach certain thresholds, the event levels increase during these reward phases you can choose level rewards based on your alliance's event level interesting so i'm guessing this is this um this chest over here so as you gain points you upgrade levels and when you upgrade levels you get to pick one reward per per tier so then for example it's like oh i want the healing speeds you take the healing speeds or oh i want the crystal keys you'll take the crystal keys interesting okay and then you could get the armaments you could get okay okay and then it goes all the way down um oh and then you unlock more levels when you get into the higher tiers at the end of the competition alliances in the same group will be ranked according to the total points participating members in the top five alliances in the group and whose event level is at least eight will receive ranking rewards in addition to some alliance in addition some alliances will be promoted or relegated to different leagues based on their ranking within their group so that's this ranking system over here. Um, so if you're in the top five, one of the top alliances, you'll go, you'll upgrade to the next level within the next time the event occurs. And then if you're somewhere near the bottom, I'm guessing you'll you'll relegate. Pretty interesting. Well, we'll have to see. Um, there you go. This is the the leagues. Other rules: you can only accept quests, increase quest progress, turn in quests, and claim alliance rewards and alliance that you signed up for in the event. Makes sense. Only alliance leaders and officers participating in the event can refresh unaccepted quests. Okay, so leaders and officers can refresh unaccepted quests. You can, you must complete and turn in alliance quests within a certain time limit after accepting it, or else it'll be regarded as a failed quest. You can also choose to manually abandon uncompleted quests, which will be also considered a failed quest. Oh, you fail a quest, your quest attempt will not be refunded. Okay, so you can't act, you have to wait for your alliance leaders to refresh a quest. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So then instead of having those 11 attempts, you'd only have 10 because you failed one of them. Okay. After each alliance quest, whether it's completed or and turned in in the refreshed by alliance leader or failed, you will have to wait 15 minutes for a new one. Oh, this is the timers over here. Got it. Okay. League info. The event is divided into five leagues, Fearless Bronze, Dazzling Silver, Brave Gold, Immortal Diamond, and Supreme Suzerain. Your alliance will be placed in Fearless Bronze stage for the first time it takes part in the alliance mobilization event. It can be promoted, relegated, or remain in the same league, so you can either go up, down, or stay based on your rankings. Got it. The higher your alliance leagues, the more difficult the quest will be. Oh, so it increases in points. Um, the, the requirements will be higher. So then the amount of points that you'll get for finishing the quest will be higher as well. Got it. Your alliance events level cap will be increased in higher leagues. So yeah, um, promotion for from Fearless Bronze to Immortal Diamond to Brave Gold. It looks like um, you always promote when you're top five and then you can't relegate back down. But once you hit Immortal Diamond, it's really hard to go up to Supreme, Supreme Suzerain because you have to be top three in your league. And then bottom five, you all get back down to Brave Gold. And then a Supreme Suzerain is even worse because it's bottom six. So you just want to make sure you're not bottom six. Um, let's how many kingdoms are there in a league? So 20. OK, so you just have to not be um, 20 to 14. 
wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, twenty to fifteen. And if you're fourteen plus, you'll be you'll be staying in the league for Supreme Suzerain. Okay, pretty interesting. Um, and then these are the rewards. During the competition, you can earn points by completing Eternian quests. And then you have chorus. We read this part. Higher Alliance League, the better the rewards for each level. Got it. And then these are the potential rewards. So Supreme Suzerain, you get a ton of gems. Oh my goodness. This is like Ark of Osiris. I mean, um, kind of reminding me of OL season ending rewards in a way. Because wow, that's 2k gems, 5 days of speeds. These crystal keys could actually be pretty good in getting some mats too. And then level, level 5 pick 1 chests are always good to get some gold. Um, you get 1k in Immortal Diamond. Okay, and then it just like teeters off, I guess. You still get a decent amount of crystal keys in, in Brave Gold. Oh, but you don't get any crystal keys in Silver or Fearless Bronze. But hey, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. So I guess the last thing that we could look at is are these um, quests that you can get. So I don't know if what quests are permanent or like, like if these are all the quests, if all, what we see is are all the quests. But from what I've seen, it's kind of like like Bastion quests um on steroids <laughs> where it's like train 10k tier 5 siege wow that's a tongue twister um or like use speed ups um so there's uh training there's speeds um there's true power so power gain um training specific amount of troops um using speed ups gathering so you could gather on the map doing uh, barb forts um train 10k tier 5 of any type um i saw some yeah there's help alliance 60 times i wonder how much this gives oh that, is, that doesn't give too much and it, it varies based on the difficulty too so this one's make 50 alliance donations which is 100 points so it seems to be a lot um i saw that there was a bat there was a barbarian killing one too but i'm guessing someone did that already so yeah it's looking like use ap or use speed ups or gather is it, kind of like um the thing that's going on here so you could gather you could make donations you could help alliance mates you can do forts and barbs you can use speed ups and train troops so it's looking pretty interesting anyways uh, this is just a first reaction it's nothing to um inform anyone but i just thought i would record this because i i didn't i don't know it's new so i guess i'll catch you guys later peace